Hey, it's Dave Ward here to do a quick review with my first impressions of the Ultra Lone Peak 3.0 mid with the Neo Shell coverage. Uh, I just got these boots literally yesterday. They came in the mail from REI. And uh, right away I was like, okay, I throw them on. Let's go out, take the dog, do a quick little four mile, four or five mile hike, you know, just to kind of get out, break them in a little bit. I am uh, going to Philmont with my son uh, the film on Scout Ranch in about a month, <laughs> and uh, I've had a bit of an issue with boots. Uh, these, for years, have been my hiking shoes. Uh, they're Brooks Trance Runners, and I used to be a runner, I used to be into that, and when we got started getting into Boy Scouts and we started doing some backpacking and some hiking, I, I just wore those, and they were fine. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> for whatever reason, getting ready for Philmont, I felt like I better go get myself a pair of big boy boots. And I bought these Vask GTX 3s that just destroyed my feet. They were so <laughs> uncomfortable. And I tried to break them in, tried to break them in. I had probably 50 miles on these boots. And it just wasn't happening. And I thought, well, maybe I just have too small of a size because it was mainly a toe issue. Uh, and I took them back, got a half size larger, did two hikes with those, and it just wasn't happening. I decided to go back to more of a trail runner si style shoe, which is what these really are. I wanted to get the ones with a little bit of ankle support. I have kind of a history of rolling my ankles. I've had knee surgery and ankle surgery before, and I just don't want to be that dad who leaves the troop behind. <laughs> so I wanted to get something with a little bit of ankle support. But something light, something a little a little more flexible, and just something not so rigid. So I, I, as I said, I took these out yesterday for the first hike. I put my pack on. I probably had about 15 pounds in the pack and the dog with me. And my intention was just go for a short hike, see if I can break these in, see how they feel. Uh, about a mile in, I started running <laughs> with my pack on. <laughs> um, these are insane. They're so awesome. They're super lightweight. You can see the toe box here. Uh, the toe box, it looks a little funny when you look down at it. Let me show you the one of my brooks. So, you know, you can get like a, that's a regular toe box. This is what their toe box looks like. It's a very different sort of look and, and shape. It is amazing. Your feet at first feel like the boot is way too loose. And I had them like really like tightened up because I'm just like the, the size, I got too big of a size. These are nine and a half, which is normally what I wear. And um, I felt like I had too big of a size. Again, within like a mile, <laughs> this is like, um, that's the most comfortable thing ever. <laughs> a little weird, but like insanely comfortable. Um, a couple of other things, just first impressions about the shoe. You know, these are not going to last as long as those Vask boots. There's just no way. They're, they're, they're definitely like solid construction wise, but those Vask boots were, you know, combat boots. I mean, they, they, those things were going to last forever. These are not going to last as long. These are, however, about 50 bucks cheaper. The Vax were like 175, these are 120. Again, I got them at REI, and so I just took them back and got these, which is awesome about REI, they have a year to bring stuff back. Um, another thing, I wear gaiters, uh, which is why you can see the dirt pattern on them kind of cuts off on the upper there, so I had a gaiter on here. What's cool about that with these shoes is they have this little loop, this little hook right there. It's kind of hard to see. Um, and I don't particularly like the black on black look, but it's right, the hook is right there. Um, and that is for the front of the gator. And then in the back, they have this little gator trap thing, which basically you take the back of the gator, pop it in there and close that. And there's a little Velcro thing and it holds your gators in place. And that works really, really well. Um, overall, just a really well designed, super comfortable shoe that I felt had plenty of ankle support. And you know, again, it's doing some trail running with a pack on, um, and I think these are gonna be awesome. I, I just, I was kind of blown away by how comfortable they were just right out of the box. Um, they are a zero drop shoe, which basically means they don't have a typical like heel, you know, it's flat. Um, and, and that felt funky at first. When I first put them on, just kind of walking around here at home, I was like, that's weird and I don't like it. Um, as soon as I got out on the trail, again, like within a mile, I was running with a pack on. I don't know, maybe they're magic. <laughs> I, I really, really love these shoes though. Um, so I'll do another review. I'm gonna do uh, this weekend, I'm gonna do about a 10 mile hike 
with a full on like Philmont load that, you know, I would, I'll be taking to Philmont basically my Philmont pack. Um, and I'll sort of do another review after I do that and let you know, but so far, so good. I'm so stoked on these shoes. So that's the Ultra Lone Peak. They're also waterproof. I didn't mention that. Uh, they're waterproof. I haven't tested that. I'll, I'll see if I can find something to dip my feet in uh, this weekend. But yeah, that's the Ultra Lone Peak 3.0 mid. Great shoe.